and that's pretty much the oven done now. I'm still waiting on the K-probe to turn up, the thermocouple. Um, I've ordered I've ordered a longer one, it's like I say, I ordered it weeks ago, I'm still waiting. And the thermocouple will will reach approximately the centre of the oven, which is where I wanna, you know, I wanna know what the temperature is right at the centre of the oven, just above the blades. Um, the thermocouple that's in now is working, but it, it it's at the back of the oven, it's only four inch long probe. So I've wired up my control box here. There's a there's a power light which tells me the oven is on. There's an alarm, that's the little alarm which tells me that the oven's up to temperature and I can then set my timer. Uh, this is, that's to turn the alarm on and off and that's just a power switch for the actual oven itself just to turn the power on and off. The, there's a little micro switch there which when the door is <coughs> When the door's opened, it just turns the power off to the elements. It leaves the power onto the panel, but turns the power off to the elements. There's a couple of fuses and things in there as well, you know. There's plenty of instructions on wiring up stuff like that, you know. You don't need me to show you. I've run it up to three or four, five hundred degrees a couple of times. This, this is the first time I've, I'm going to actually use it and take it up to the temperature. Um, because it took a little bit of drying out with all that stuff I've been painting on there but that stuff I painted on it needs it needs to be cured at temperature so I, I took it up to about five or six hundred I think something like that left it on for a half an hour and, and just switched it off and left that let, left that stuff to cure so it it drove a fair bit of moisture out of there so it holds temperature it doesn't leak heat and I like it. I'll just show you the connections on the back. These are where the connections are made. And there's two little porcelain kind of collars on there that go through the actual steel. So the steel rod that's connected to the elements cannot touch the metal. And I will put covers over them too. Uh, I'm, I can't really finish off here because I'm just waiting for my longer thermocouple. So today I'm going to try it out. I've got a couple of O1 blades here. I'm just doing it in here. Not quite finished yet. The, there's no back on this control panel. I will finish that when I get my thermocouple and I'll put some connectors over and then this oven's going outside. That is four milli O1 and I've got a little three milli O1 camp knife which I'm just kind of trying out this is maybe going to be a production model so I'm just doing one to test so I can do some testing on it and just see how it feels when when it's finished um, okay I'll switch it on I'll leave it on a minute or two and then you can just watch how, how the temperature ramps up. So it, it's off straight away and I need to set the temperature. Um, the specs for this element, I think a couple of people have asked me about the element and um, as far as I can gather, it's about 2,000 watts. It's around 2,000 watts the element. Um, I did take a reading off the element itself and it was 25 ohms, if that means anything to anybody. Um, and the, it's rated at 9 amps, I think, from the calculations I've done. 9 amps, 2,000, uh, 2000 watts or 2 kilowatts. And that's where it is. So I'm going to time it today and I'm going to see how long it takes it to get up to 810 degrees. So I'm an hour in and I'm at 750 degrees. It's about 60 degrees to go. Um, the oven is just, just feels really nice actually. There's nothing that's just overtly hot on it anywhere. Um, right. 30, 32 degrees centigrade, 20, 31 degrees centigrade. That's kind of the hottest bit there. 
just there which is at 39 degrees it's all roughly the, the, I mean the background temperature in here uh, in my workshop because because kind of you know it's warm it's that's the background temp that's the surface table on my grinder 23 degrees so the actual oven is only it's only 10 degrees over the room temperature well it's taken uh, one hour 20 minutes and we're just about there the the element or the pit will be it'll be altering the power it sends to the element now that's it's still giving it a hundred percent but as as it starts to reduce power as it reaches the target temperature of that that'll start reducing flickering going up down up down uh, see 20 percent 15 percent that's what it does as it just gets up to 110 it's it tries to hit it exactly that's the target temperature and like I say the alarm goes off when it hits that so I can start my timer now anyway because we're within a degree that's me countdown now to soak the steel and this'll this this um, auto tune will will it will drop and it'll go slightly above and drop and go slightly above then it does settle you know almost bang on target to one degree now I've got my uh, quench oil heating up and I'll come back guys when we're ready that is it we are at temperature that's nice let's go in for this one The anti-scale, if you put anti-scale on it, it leaves you with a really nice finish on the blade. There's no, there's no scaling, <laughs> basically. Yeah, nice clean finish. And that is just absolutely dead straight, that. Fantastic. There's no warping whatsoever in it. Again, really clean, nice. So the big test now, I'm gonna Rockwell test the uh, the three milli O1 blade. I'm hoping I hit 65 Rockwell. And that looks very promising. And we have 60. 6.5 these are subject to one one Rockwell point so I'm over 65 which I'm, I'm very happy about so I'm I'm assuming it's 60 it's 65.5 Rockwell at least minimum 66 point uh, 65.5 Rockwell on that and that guys is as hard as O1 steel will get to I'll just check the 4 milli blade. Yeah. There we go. Almost identical to the 3 milli blade. I cannot complain at that. So all in all the oven's been operating now for about two hours and the temperature on the outside is now 50, 49 to 50 degrees 37 on the front nothing is so hot that you can't touch it 
Again, the hottest spot is about there, which is 49 degrees. Fantastic! Great! Brilliant! Love my oven. So them two knives now will go into the carry on into the uh, heat treating process. They're going they're going for tempering now. Uh, get that done. Handles finished, ground sanded, polished, sheaths, etc. I'm going to spend the rest of today finishing off the uh, these little things. I've, I have finished two of them. One of these little chaps is going to be going to the. Uh, 20,000 20, subscriber draw giveaway so it'll be one of them I'm not sure which one yet we'll let you know the knife is just ready I'm just going to shape the handle now and start oiling it uh, and then make the sheath make the sheath tomorrow so we'll be doing the draw for that for the patrons on, on Tuesday right guys I'm going to wrap this up now um, Thanks, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoy it. I hope someone's got something out of it. It's not the, it's not, it's not an insurmountable thing to build one of these. Um, I looked at it many years ago and thought I'm never going to be able to work out the wiring and. The, but it's not. It's really just get get into it and get it done if you want. If you're on a good heat treating oven, uh, not difficult to build. You perhaps don't need to go as elaborate as I've done if you just want to stack some fire bricks up and, and wrap a metal frame around them and that, that'll do you, you know. Um, thanks to my patrons um, and I'm going to do the draw guys, I'm sorry I've been a bit late with it but I just have been up to my eyes in everything this last month um, and we'll see you in the next video which uh, I don't know what it's going to be but it'll, oh, it'll be the it'll be the draw, so there'll be one, there'll be two draws, there'll be one for my patrons and there'll be a draw for my subscribers. <laughs> I'll see you soon, okay.